Welcome to World Insight. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more breaking updates. For decades, Boeing and Airbus have ruled commercial aviation, connecting continents, shaping the industry, and setting the standard for innovation and reliability. Their aircraft have become icons of global travel, carrying millions of passengers every year and fueling economic growth across the world. Their duopoly seemed unbreakable, two giants locked in a race for supremacy, with little room for challengers. But the landscape is shifting. The winds of change are blowing from the east as China emerges with bold ambitions and a vision to redefine the future of flight. China is no longer content to assemble parts for others. It's designing, building, and certifying its own advanced jets, investing heavily in research, technology, and talent to close the gap with Western rivals. The world is watching closely as China transforms from a manufacturing powerhouse into a true aviation innovator, determined to make its mark on the global stage. Enter the Comac C919, a sleek passenger jet designed to rival the best from Boeing and Airbus, and the AVIC AG600, a colossal amphibious aircraft built for unique missions on land and water. These two machines represent China's two-pronged strategy to disrupt the market and challenge the West, offering new options for airlines and governments alike. The question is no longer if China will become a major force in aviation, but how its rise will reshape the industry, influence global competition, and impact the choices available to travelers and airlines. Will this lead to more affordable air travel, greater innovation, and new choices for airlines and passengers worldwide? The possibilities are as vast as the skies themselves. The story of these jets is the story of the future of flight, being written now in China's design labs and assembly halls, where ambition meets engineering and a new chapter in aviation history begins. At the heart of China's ambitious aviation push stands the Comac C919, a direct and bold challenge to the long-standing dominance of the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320. For decades, these two Western giants have controlled the skies, but China is determined to change that narrative. This narrow-body jet, capable of seating up to 192 passengers, is designed to compete in the most profitable and fiercely contested segment of the global market. It's tailored for short to medium-haul routes, where demand is highest and efficiency is crucial. Developed by state-owned Comac, the C919 is the result of over a decade of intensive research, engineering, and massive investment. Thousands of Chinese engineers and technicians have contributed to its creation, making it a true symbol of national pride and technological progress. Its mission is clear, reduce China's reliance on Western aircraft manufacturers and offer a homegrown alternative that can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best in the world. The C919 represents a significant step toward self-sufficiency in a critical industry. With a price tag around $38 million, the C919 undercuts its Western rivals by more than half making it an attractive option for airlines looking to expand their fleets without breaking the bank. The C919 boasts state-of-the-art avionics, impressive fuel efficiency, and a comfortable modern cabin, matching or even exceeding its competitors on key performance metrics. It's designed to meet the expectations of both airlines and passengers alike. For airlines, the C919 promises not only lower acquisition and operating costs, but also comparable reliability and support. This makes it a compelling choice for carriers seeking to modernize their fleets and improve profitability. China's domestic aviation market is on track to become the world's largest, and the C919 ensures that much of this soaring demand will be met by a homegrown aircraft, keeping economic benefits within the country. This jet is more than just a product, it's a strategic move to position China as a third pillar in global aviation, challenging the established duopoly and reshaping the industry's future. The C919 is poised to forever alter the competitive landscape, signaling a new era where China's aviation ambitions take flight on the world stage. The real test for any new aircraft is global acceptance. In July 2024, the Republic of the Congo became one of the first international buyers of the Comac C919. This deal for three aircraft signals China's growing reach beyond its borders. For African nations, the C919's affordability offers a path to modernizing fleets that was previously out of reach. The Congo deal is a turning point, encouraging other countries in Africa, Asia and Latin America to consider Chinese jets. It's also a reflection of deepening economic ties between China and Africa. For Boeing and Airbus, this is a warning shot. Africa is a fast-growing market and China is now a serious contender. If Comac proves reliable and offers strong support, 
it could capture a significant share of emerging markets. The sale to Congo is just the beginning of a new global competition. While the C919 targets commercial travel, China's AVIC AG600 or Kunlong is the world's largest amphibious aircraft. Built to operate from runways and open water, it's designed for firefighting and maritime search and rescue. The AG600 can scoop 12,000 liters of water in 20 seconds and deliver it to wildfires with precision. Its range and ability to land on water make it invaluable for rescuing shipwreck survivors far out at sea. This is especially crucial for China, with its vast coastline and maritime interests. Unlike the C919, the AG600 doesn't compete with Boeing or Airbus but fills a unique niche. Its size and capabilities set it apart from other amphibious aircraft, showcasing China's engineering prowess. The AG600 is a symbol of China's ability to build complex, mission-specific aircraft for public service and strategy. Comparing China's new jets to Western stalwarts reveals a battle of value versus legacy. The global aviation industry is witnessing a dramatic shift as Chinese manufacturers step onto the world stage to challenge the dominance of established Western giants. The C919 matches the Boeing 737 MAX and Airbus A320neo in size, range, and passenger experience. From cabin comfort to fuel efficiency, it's designed to compete head-to-head -head with the best-selling jets that have long defined commercial air travel. Its biggest advantage? Price, at nearly a third of the cost of its Western rivals. This significant cost difference could reshape airline fleet decisions, especially for carriers looking to expand quickly without breaking the bank. This is a game-changer for budget airlines and emerging markets. Lower acquisition costs mean more routes, more competition and potentially cheaper tickets for travelers in regions where air travel is booming. But Boeing and Airbus have decades of operational data, global support, and a reputation for safety. Their aircraft are trusted by airlines and passengers worldwide, backed by extensive service networks and proven reliability. Comac must prove its jets are reliable and cost-effective over time. Building trust will require years of flawless service, robust after-sales support, and a track record that reassures airlines and regulators alike. The AG600, meanwhile, fills a gap the Western giants have left open, no comparable large amphibious aircraft exists in their lineups. This unique plane is tailored for firefighting, rescue, and maritime patrol, opening new possibilities for specialized missions. Its scale and mission-specific design highlight China's growing engineering confidence. The AG600 is a symbol of ambition, showing that China is willing to tackle challenges others have ignored. China isn't just copying. It's innovating for new needs. By addressing gaps in the market and investing in research, Chinese aerospace is carving out its own identity. As China develops its own engines and avionics, its jets will become even more independent. This technological self-reliance could eventually reduce dependence on foreign suppliers and strengthen China's position in the global market. The challenge to the West is only just beginning. As China's aviation industry matures, the competition will intensify, reshaping the future of flight for decades to come. The arrival of the C919 and AG600 signals a seismic shift in aviation. For the first time in decades, Boeing and Airbus face a state-backed rival with the resources to compete long-term. This new competition could drive down aircraft prices and make air travel more accessible, especially in developing nations. The C919 gives airlines in Africa, Asia, and Latin America a viable, affordable alternative. With a third major supplier, countries gain leverage and negotiating power. But China faces challenges. Building a global support network is as complex as designing the aircraft. Comac must prove it can deliver reliable after-sales service worldwide. Geopolitics will play a role, as aircraft choices become political statements. Certification by US and European authorities remains a crucial hurdle for global acceptance. The outcome will shape the future of aviation competition. The Comac C919's engines are a wake-up call for the aviation world. The era of the Boeing Airbus duopoly is ending as China's patient, well-funded challenge becomes reality. The C919's competitive pricing and first international sales mark a new era. For airlines, especially in emerging markets, a third supplier means more choice and better prices. For passengers, it could mean lower fares and more routes. The C919 and AG600 symbolize a multipolar world where innovation is global. Boeing and Airbus must now innovate faster and compete harder. 
the future will be shaped by three major players, driving down costs and spurring new ideas. China faces hurdles in building global trust and support, but its ambitions are clear. The sky is no longer the limit. China's rise is reshaping the world of flight. 